So Apple have announced the M2 chip, the next generation of Apple Silicon Macs. And the M2 MacBook Air is powerful enough to compete with the pro laptops out there. And is perhaps a perfect laptop for filmmakers. Let me explain. So Apple launched the silicon chip M1 back in October 2020 with the first generation chip being called the M1. And it looks like Apple have doubled down with the second generation custom Mac chip architecture, unsurprisingly with the name M2. The M2 chip will arrive first for the MacBook Air before being introduced into the MacBook Pro. And this could be very much a perfect laptop for filmmakers. It's small, it's lightweight, and it's more powerful than the previous M1, which was already beastly powerful. And Apple say that the CPU performance is 18% faster and you can now get 50% more memory bandwidth with the M2 with up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. There's also now 10 total GPU core with up to 35% better graphic performance than the M1. And it's 15 times faster than previous non-silicon laptops. Laptops. That is unbelievably fast. And Apple also say that the M2 chip can compete with high-end PC chips at a fraction of the power, delivering 90% of the performance of a 12-core Intel PCU at a quarter of the power. That is really impressive. And we also have the price. The new M2 MacBook Air is coming in at $1,199. And comparing with the old M1 MacBook Air, that's still staying at the price of $999. They are for sure both powerful machines and if you want to go that little bit further there is the MacBook Pro M2 which comes in at $1,299. There's not much to say here about the M2 MacBook Pro. It's basically the exact same model as the M1 but with the new M2 chip inside. And in regards to the MacBook Airs for an additional $200 you are getting a better performance, better camera, better screen, new design and a whole bunch of other stuff. So to me if you are looking to upgrade to a silicon MacBook, it's honestly worth to go for the M2 just for all those additional benefits which you get with the new MacBook Air. But how does something like the MacBook Air M2 handle or deal with? 8K footage in real time. Well, on the website here, they state that thanks to the high performance media engine on the M2 chip, you can now play and edit even more streams of 4K and 8K ProRes video. And considering that the M1 has the capabilities of dealing with 4K in real time, 6K with a bit of lag and the 8K with more lag but still usable and with the M2 having so much more performance capabilities I can personally see the M2 MacBook Air easily dealing with 8K footage in real time but there's no hands-on testing on my side as of yet so I can't confirm that personally and when it comes to things like 8K I'd be really interested to see if the MacBook Air can deal with things like red footage or Alexa footage that for sure is a lot of information to process so that's it for today guys and by the way a like and subscribe on this channel would be amazing this is a new channel with new growth and I would love to have you guys along for the ride so with that I'll as always, I love your faces and I'll see you next time.